Have you guys just updated your Minecraft and realized all your worlds have disappeared? Um, if you are in the new version of Minecraft and you click on play, all your worlds are now gone. And it's because how Minecraft has now stored your files. Um, some, If you were lucky enough, your worlds would have ported over and did not have this problem. But if you're unlucky like me and you have this problem where your worlds have disappeared, I'm going to show you how to fix it in today's episode. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do in when you're uh, trying to recover your old Minecraft worlds, you're gonna click on the search bar on your PC desktop, and inside the search bar, you're gonna type in the word RUN run. Once you click on that, a little dialog box pops up in the bottom left corner of your window on your window. Uh, inside that little search bar, you're gonna click on you're gonna type in the word app data, A P P D A T A, and then inside of that you're gonna click on OK. Once you're here, you're going to click on the, you have three files, you have local, local, low, and roaming. You're going to click on the first one, local, and then inside of here, you're going to find the folder that says packages. Uh, it should be towards the bottom because it is in alphabetical order, uh, but then you're going to click on add packages right here. And inside of here, you're going to find the folder that says Microsoft.Minecraft UWP, and that's also going to be towards the bottom. Um, there we go, right here I passed this. It's gonna be Microsoft.Minecraft UWP. You're gonna click on that, and inside of this folder, you're gonna click on local state. And inside of local state, you're gonna click on the folder that says games. And then inside of games, you're gonna click on the only folder that says com.mojang. And inside of that, you should have a folder that says Minecraft Worlds. If you click on that, all your worlds that you thought disappeared should be in this folder. So if your worlds are there, it's a promising start and then we're going to show you how to port them over to the new Minecraft version. So what we're going to do is we're going to slide this over to the right hand side of my screen because we're going to need this here in a minute. So the next step is we're going to come back down to the search bar, type in run one more time, click on run, and then inside here you're going to click on app data one more time. Okay, and inside of app data, what we're going to do is we're going to click on roaming this time, and then you're going to find a folder that says Minecraft Bedrock. It should be towards the top, uh, so we're going to click on Minecraft Bedrock. And then you're going to click on the folder users. You're going to click on users. And then you should have this, this folder that has a long string of numbers. Your numbers might be different than mine. But you're going to click on that. Click on games. And then you click on com.mojang. And then inside of here, you should also have a Minecraft Worlds folder. If you don't have a Minecraft Worlds folder, go ahead and create one and type it in the exact same way you see here. Minecraft is all lowercase and Worlds has a capital W, okay, with no spaces. So if you don't have one, go ahead and create one, but you should have one already. If I click on it, as you can see, my folder is currently empty. That's the problem, and that's why Minecraft can't see your Worlds. So what we're going to do is we're going to fix it. So on this side, you're going to highlight, highlight all of these Worlds, okay? So I'm going to highlight them, and then I'm going to right-click on it. And then when I right-click, you're going to click on the option that says Compress To, and we're going to compress to a zip folder, okay? This might may take some time depending on how powerful your PC is and how big your worlds are. So give it a few minutes, go ahead and pause the video when you're done, click on play, and then um, we'll get back into the next step. Okay, so it didn't take too long. So once that when when that has been uh, ported to a zip folder, you're going to take your zip folder and you're gonna drag it to the new uh, file location. You're gonna drag it, drop it, okay. And this may also take some time. When this, you should have an error pop up. I have it, you may not have it. If you do have the error pop up, you're gonna click on the word yes. Once you click on yes, it'll port the zip folder over. And then you are done with this side. So we can go ahead and get rid of it. Okay, once you're here, you're going to right click on the uh, new folder. And then you're gonna click on the option that says extract all. Okay, and then you're gonna click on extract, okay. And depending on how many worlds you have, again, this may take some time. So just give it a few minutes, and we'll go straight back into the next step. Okay, so when that has been, um, when that is done loading, what we're going to do is we have two kind of the same folders. One's a .zip, and one's just a regular folder. You're going to actually delete the .zip one. We don't need it anymore. And then you're going to open up this folder, the one that you just uh, zipped, unzipped. You're going to click on it, and all your worlds should be inside of there. What you're going to do is you're going to highlight all of them again, and then you're going to hold Control X on your uh, keyboard at the same time. And then once you have Control X, you're going to go back one, and then inside of here, you're going to click Control V, okay? And that should move all your worlds from that folder into here, okay? And 
and as you can see they have been re they have are all there so now what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of the file system we are done with it and moment of truth we're going to load up minecraft bedrock and our worlds should be reinstated uh, once you have uh, loaded into your minecraft the moment of truth is when you click on play and hopefully all of your worlds depending on how many you had are all there you're going to click on play and look at that all of my worlds are there I only had nine of them but they're all here if i go and click on play on one of them i'm just going to click on the first one that pops up uh, i do have a custom data pack on this world that's why my ui is different but if i go ahead and load it in as you can see i can now play and it works just fine so all right so that is how you port over all your worlds from the old uh, versions of minecraft to the new ones without hopefully hopefully not losing any of your worlds if you guys have any questions let me know down in the comments below uh if you guys did enjoy it make sure you subscribe like and i'll see you guys all in the next video goodbye